Hey guys, welcome back to KTV. My name's Harry. I'm Kate. And today we're introducing a new special series called I'm a KTV, KTV host. host. Get, Get me out, out of here. here. We will be competing in two teams, uh, a whole bunch of challenges over the next couple of weeks to see who will be the ultimate uh, survival KTV host. Yes, and we have, so these two teams are fighting for the immunity chicken. That means they don't have to vote someone off. That's right, the team who doesn't win the immunity chicken will go to Tribal Council and we'll see which key KTV host um, will be the next one voted out. Yes, it's going to be lots of fun. Today, our first challenge is... Cups. And water challenge. <laughs> Two teams will be fighting against each other. They have to fill up their buckets with water. That's correct, so one at a time, they're going to take a cup fill up the cup, run it back to their uh, bucket, empty bucket, fill it up, and the team that fills up their buckets first wins our immunity chicken, and the team that doesn't... They have to vote someone off, and that will be very sad. I, I, I'm, I hope it's not me, because that would be very unfortunate. It would be. Yes, but that's how the game might go. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game. Good luck. Good, good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Fredo is a young man that lives by himself in a one-story brick home. Fredo wakes up and grabs his boombox. He wants to be a pro dancer, so he starts to practice break dancing. Unfortunately, he fails and falls onto his back. He gets up and goes to his bed when suddenly a bottle with a mat in it appears. As soon as he opens the map, a glowing blue portal appears. He goes to his Lego Bugatti and drives through it. The portal then closes. The portal opens and Fredo exits out of it. He looks around while driving in search of a dance shooter. The kids in the foyer get scared by Fredo appearing and run away. As Fredo drives around the art room, he looks up and sees a foot coming down, then he jumps out of the car just as it gets stepped on. As the foot lifts up... As he is walking to drama, Fredo mourns the loss of his car. Then he sees something shiny in the haystack. He gets his banana axes and starts climbing and dives into the haystack and finds a key. He looks at his map and decides to head to Vocals. As Fredo arrives at Vocal Land, he jumps onto the keyboards to search for the key. He, he hears singing and gets so frightened that he starts jumping around. Then he slips onto the ground, finding the key. Several long days later. Fredo is ready to give up his journey. He spots giant garden gates. He gathers up all his keys and he combines them together and unlocks the gate. As he walks in, he sees a bright light. After a while, the bright light starts to fade. He spots a mountain of treasure. He gets so excited, he starts to dance. Even after Fredo's dangerous journey and days of resilience, in the end, he only needed joy to dance. The end! Yes, yes, this end. What is prayer? Prayer is talking to God. When we are with our friends, we talk. We talk about the funny trick our dog did. We complain about the healthy apple mum packed in our lunchbox. We whisper about the cute boy in class and make plans for a sleepover on the weekend. We can tell our friends how amazing they were when they kicked the winning goal or see how beautiful their artwork is. We can talk to our friends about anything. 
We can also talk to God about anything and everything too. That's prayer. We can talk to God about our sore knee. We can tell him about the girls who said mean things to us. We can talk to God about the beautiful rainbow and the huge puddles we jumped in after the rain. We can tell God how thankful we are for our friends and family. We can talk to God about the questions we have like why mosquitoes exist and why there is sickness in the world. We can even talk to God about our big dreams for the future. Prayer is talking to God. Anytime, anywhere, about anything. loves camping. I love going camping with my family. My favourite part of camping is sitting around the campfire, sharing stories, talking, talking and listening to my family. You know, when we go camping, we get to spend time with our favourite people without the distraction of school and work. We get to enjoy quality time in the great outdoors. We get to share stories around a campfire and even go on adventures. Did you know that Jesus often liked to go out by himself to spend time with God? It's important to stop and spend intentional time with God so that we can grow in our faith. In this series, we're going to learn different ways that we can spend time with God to grow our faith. Today, we're going to learn about prayer. Now, prayer is simply talking to God. Now this is my phone. I use it to talk to people, some of them even on the other side of the world. You know, it's great because I can take it everywhere I go. You know, I can use my phone to do many different things. But the main reason for a phone is to talk to people. And even that has many reasons. I can call my dad to help me with a cooking problem. I can call my brother if there is something wrong with my car. I can call my friends to chat. And I can call my grandma just to say hi and to let her know that I'm thinking about her. Did you know God wants us to call him? Even he even gives us a way to call him. And it's called prayer. You know, prayer won't get lost. It won't need charging like a phone. You know, we can call God anytime and anywhere with prayer. You know, we can have a phone, but until we choose to actually make the call, we're never going to talk to anyone. You know, it's our choice to call on God. 
You know, we must act upon our choice by praying. God is there anytime, anywhere and for anyone. You know, we can pray our own words by ourselves or we can pray with others. You know, prayer is simply talking to God, but it's something that involves sometimes listening to God as well. You know, during Jesus' life, he set the example of how to live, how to lead and love God. Jesus gives us some instructions to help us understand how we can pray. You know, in Matthew 6 in our Bibles, it says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray... Go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in the secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep babbling like pagans, for they uh, think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. You know, Jesus is teaching us that when we pray to God, it's not about showing off to others or using big words. The important thing is what's in our hearts. You know, when we talk to God in our prayers, there can be lots of different things that we talk about with him. You know, we can praise God. This is telling him what we love about him and telling him how awesome he is. You know, we can also confess our sins. This is telling God the things that we have done wrong and asking for forgiveness for them. You know, we can thank God. This is a chance for us to thank God for who he is and for also some of the things and people that he has given us. You know, we can pray for others. We can chat to God about others and give him requests for them. You know, we can pray for ourselves. We can chat to God about what is going on for us personally. You know, we can chat to him about our day, about our family, about what's happening at school for us. You know, our prayers don't have to be the same every time. Sometimes they might be long prayers. Sometimes they might be short, quick little prayers. God still hears them. He doesn't care about whether we use fancy words or what it sounds like. He cares about our hearts and he wants to hear from us each day. Our bottom line today is Jesus teaches me how to pray. You know, I like to talk to God when I go for a walk. I'm by myself. There is nothing to distract me. And I always start by thanking God for something amazing in nature that I've seen. Then I tell him about my day and the things that have brought me joy. But I also tell him about the things that have worried me. I thank him for the people in my life. And I just simply chit chat with God as I walk. You know, the great thing about prayer is that we can talk to God at any time, anywhere. So why don't we talk to God right now? God, thank you so much that you love each and every one of us. God, thank you for the beautiful tree that I saw today that I know you created. God, I'm sorry for all the things that I've done wrong, Lord, for the bad choices that I've made this week. God, thank you that you forgive me for those things. God, I want to pray for anyone out there who is feeling lonely today. God, I pray that you will bring wonderful people into their life so that they won't feel so lonely. God, Thank you so much for your great love. God, thank you that we have Jesus to teach us so many wonderful things. God, help us to talk to you each day and spend time with you. 
In Jesus' name, everyone said, amen. Well, Harry. That was fun. I had lots of fun in that, that, challenge. that challenge. It was good. It's a bit unfortunate that we've ended up on the losing team. Yes. Congratulations to the Reds for winning the immunity chicken. Yeah, we'll get you next week. But um, it's come to the time of the episode where we unfortunately have to vote one of our team members off. Oh, yeah, that's oh, going to be very sad. sad. Yeah. It's a hard decision. It's hey, hard. Team. Yeah, it was it was fun the challenge, but yes, we lost. So what we've got to do now is we've got to write down who we're going to vote off. All right. Let's take a take Let's a couple of seconds. You've got to think long and hard. This is very important. This person could, may or may not, let the team down or keep the team going. All right, we're all ready? Yep. <sighs> Unfortunately. All right, let's start with Nelson. All right. Show us who you're running off. Ooh. OK, that's fair enough. All right, Hannah. It was a tough choice, but... I had to think for the good of the team. I mean, I messed up a few times, but come on, guys. You know. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I wrote sorry. Okay. Yeah. Who's that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I mean, oh, I didn't see um, that coming. Sorry about that. Yeah. I just really feel like there was just one too many mistakes today, and I'm really sad, but unfortunately, I think your time's up. Oh. oh. Well, let's just see. Last well, vote. Yeah, I also voted oh. myself. Oh. Oh. Um, you know, I was having fun with you guys, but then we were on the same team and it just wasn't going so smoothly. Oh, what? Um, well, yeah. well, thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks Where's anyway, guys. Thing? Yeah, we'll see, Bye, you. see you next time. Bye, Harry. Bye, Harry. Bye, Harry. Bye, Harry. Oh. Well, um, we yeah. hope you enjoyed watching uh, I'm a T KTV host Get Me Out of Here and uh, we'll see you next week to see who the next person voted off at the challenges. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, it's been fun, but being voted off is, is a bit tough. I know I made a few mistakes, but, uh, you know, I guess, guess it won't happen again. That's all I'm saying. It's been, uh, it's been good. Yeah. Thanks.